The narcissist is a teacher and not a teacher in the way that you may necessarily think, but a teacher in many ways nonetheless. It is very important to learn all the lessons from this experience, otherwise we will continue to relive this. Narcissistic people are not people that you should be keeping in your life for a lifetime. And as such, it is important to keep your spiritual tree pruned. And what I mean by that is similar to trees, we grow. And some people we outgrow. The narcissist opens your eyes to certain things that you were probably unaware of. This is why you have to raise your awareness. And your awareness is your innate ability to discern spirits. We are a spirit inside of a human body with access to a mind as a tool. You're not your mind. Your mind is a tool that you use to make decisions. And you are not your body. Your body is a vessel for the spirit. And spirit is essentially energy, source, energy, prana, life, life force, and so on. Narcissists consume people because you really do have a black hole where their soul should be. All narcissists are people addicts. So narcissists are addicted to people. And people, again, are spirit. Spirit is energy. So you really are dealing with an energy vampire. Vampires are dead inside, so they have to consume others' energies. Narcissists don't have much self-esteem, so they have to get other esteem. This is why narcissists always need someone to boost their ego. You really are validating their false self that they believe is their true self. When you're dealing with a pathological narcissist, you're dealing with someone that does not have a true self. This self was abandoned for a false self, that which we call the ego or the mask. And the mask is what you have been interacting with. When we're talking about shame here, understand that we are talking about pathologically low self-esteem. This shame here really is the death of the spirit. So narcissists are closer to death than they are to life or enlightenment. You are dealing with someone that is rooted in shame and they can't move past their pride. So this is a very toxic individual. The energy that governs the narcissist is not appreciative. Then it is depreciative. It is not building energy. It is destructive energy. So narcissists must drag you down to their level. Misery loves company.